war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. My turn, big guy. Your hair looks great.
As beautiful as the day we met. Hey, hun. Just getting ready. Ah, good morning, Mum. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, Mum. Enjoy your coffee, Mum. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. More of the same. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Codsworth? Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering me. Good morning! Voltec calling. Texas delivered their first World Series victory since 1986. Voltec? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Uh, just go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <coughs> total atomic annihilation. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention 
total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see.
Wonderful. That's everything. i uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Miss Megan, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? Miss Megan, if I may, Sean requires your personal attention. A little motherly love to quiet the nerves. Hun? I'll be there in a minute. Go ahead. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Hey, hon. What's wrong with Codsworth? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate say? stations. Oh, no. We do, we do have... We do have coming in. 
That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth, stay safe, honey. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We'll drive to the coast! That's gotta be far enough! What if it isn't? Hold, Hold on, on little, little guy. guy. This way! Hold on. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go program. ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. And God help us Head all. To the elevator. Hey there. You Get two, to the follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? We're everything we can. Now keep this moving. Way. Step on the platform in the center. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! <laughs> 